talk some ACC in game number two. It's Wake Forest and Pitt tonight. Pitt has the recent upset of Duke at Cameron. Wake has taken their lumps a little bit as of late. All right, uh, for Pitt, they are a short favorite, a point and a half at home, total 143 and a half. Corby Craig starts the discussion. Corby also has an official play. I'm curious as to what that is. Yeah, I, I bet the over here, 143 and a half. Uh, we, we saw Pittsburgh play Miami in their last matchup, Miami without Cleveland. Uh, and, and they were able to force that game into a 27 to 10 run to end the game. They had a shot to win it. Uh, they didn't. They ended up fouling it and losing by four. Only reason I know is I had plus four and, and down 25. That looked pretty cooked. Uh, and then at the end, it looked fine. But the, the thing that it does for me is like, what is this number? What is this open if the Miami Pitt game finishes at, at what it probably should have without that big um, end of game spike? This game probably ends at like 160 points. I, I don't imagine that we see Wake Forest open up 143. It would be closer to 146. Uh, Wake is a team that. Yeah, I mean, they looked bad versus North Carolina, but it's North Carolina. I take away the Georgia Tech game, North Carolina's looked pretty dominant all year. Wake Forest, a team with plenty of scores, third in the nation and free throw percentage. Um, obviously, I, I think that free throw percentage is a good indicator of, of like quality of shot. Like, can you shoot? I mean, the best shooters in the world can shoot free throws at a pretty high clip. And you see this uh, Wake team with a, a bunch of good scores. Kevin Miller, in particular, 85% uh, from the free throw line. So I, I, inevitably, I think that his 35% free throw, three-point percentage is not a fluke. Like, even though 35% isn't anything crazy, like, I, I feel like that's something that he can do on a daily basis. So really like this Wake team. I, I think Wake is one of the better teams that people aren't talking about. 13 and six, I, a few losses versus some pretty good teams. Florida State scored uh, 87 in the game that they beat them. So um, props to Florida State for that. If you're going to lose a game, sco uh, opponent scoring 87, like it, it's going to happen. So like Wake is a team, think Pitt is a little undervalued due to the last game. Uh, I bet the over here. So a lot of sentiment in the chat, Jeff Nadu, for Wake Forest as the short road dog here. Any thoughts on the matchup at Pittsburgh? Yeah, I, I think on the court, I would pick Wake. I just don't like the spot. I'm not interested in short road dogs. It just seemingly is, is a place where you go to die. Throw in the fact that this number has been bet up. The sharp money likes Pittsburgh. And look at Wake's last three road games. Um, they just haven't had enough. And I think the over is the play. If you're going to take Wake, why not just take the over? I think both these teams score pretty effectively, and we've seen Wake on the road. They just haven't been very good on defense. Um, yeah, I, I like the over as well. I, I had this total a little bit towards more than one, mid 140s. 143 seems a bit bit low here. Um, the only concern, I think, if you back Pitt here in a, in a flip game, is the free throw issues, right? I mean, look at I mean, guys. Last night, Ole Miss, prime example. Mississippi State gets a really bad foul call when it went right for them. Kid goes to the line with a chance to tie it with four seconds to go. Misses the front end of the one and one and then has to miss on purpose and misses that. So that's the difference in the game. If he makes those free throws, that could game could have won a whole lot different. In these flip games, you cannot bet on a team that is shooting, you know, 65% from the free throw line in Pittsburgh. Um I, I could make case for both sides. It's a pass, but I do like the over. I think we see like a 75, 72 type of game. Peterson Event Center, ACC Network tonight for Pitt and Wake Forest. And Corby Craig says, score, score, and score some more. Well, the Henson kid that filled it up at Cameron, seven for seven from three-point land against Duke. Will he respond here at home? Pitt off the loss to Miami at home. Let's see what happens for this one uh, coming up tonight in ACC play. Again, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. We're here weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time on BetUS TV all the way through March, all the way through the upcoming Final Four State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Great to be with you here on BetUS TV, rocking along. Uh, I see the live audience is growing and growing and growing.